As you've heard, we are opening the Meta Horizon OS platform and making it accessible to more developers. The majority of content available on Meta Horizon today is built using game engines. This has resulted in a thriving ecosystem, but one that leans heavily towards games. Today, we want to welcome mobile developers to build for Meta Horizon using Meta Spatial SDK and usher in a new wave of apps and experiences for Quest users. Hi, I'm Mike Armstrong, the tech lead for Meta Spatial SDK. Meta Spatial SDK is a new way to build spatial experiences for Meta Horizon OS, and I'm very excited to show you what you've been working on. Meta Spatial SDK lets you combine the rich ecosystem of Android development and the unique capabilities of MetaQuest via accessible APIs. It is Kotlin based, allowing you to use the mobile development languages, tools, and libraries you're already familiar with. Whether you're an established company, startup, or individual, you can build completely new immersive apps or take your existing mobile app and extend it by adding spatial features. Mobile developers can quickly build their front end using their favorite 2D UI framework combined with our 3D capabilities. These apps can be built on top of established mobile backend services and libraries, enabling companies to quickly and scalably build for Quest using their existing engineering talent and resources. With Spatial SDK, MetaQuest devices become another form factor in your mobile development process rather than a completely new technology stack. Let's take a look at some apps built with Meta Spatial SDK that show the capabilities and features of the framework. MetaQuest TV is our popular media app, which can be used as a media viewer for a growing number of users capturing immersive content such as 180, 360, and spatial media. HMDs are the best way to view this content. The MQTV team leveraged the Meta Spatial SDK to build a custom immersive player to run alongside their existing app. This enabled a richer viewing experience for spatial videos and panoramas that let users relive the moment. MQTV is a hybrid app. That means it takes advantage of both the multitasking panel state and the fully immersive state to offer its users the best viewing experience based on the content type. Next, we have our Focus Showcase app. Focus is an open source reference app that shows developers how to build a productivity app using the new Meta Spatial SDK. Infinite Screens is one of the most compelling experiences in mixed reality. The Focus app demonstrates how developers can leverage their favorite 2D UI framework to build interactive windows from navigating web views to inputting text and images. These elements are positioned optimally in 3D environments that transport you to another world or fixed relative to your actual world. An app like Focus shows how developers can utilize mobile capabilities they are familiar with and combine them with Quest platform functionality via intuitive metaspatial APIs to build the perfect spatial experience. Now let's jump over to the GeoVoyage Showcase app. The GeoVoyage app shows developers how to build apps that leverage modern 3D graphics and blend them into the real world with mixed reality capabilities. Create realistic 3D assets using our extensive GLTF 3D model support that includes image-based lighting, physically-based rendering, animation, and more. Additionally, custom shaders give you the flexibility and control to create the visual experience you desire. You can place this vibrant virtual content into the real world and have it blend seamlessly into the environment without MR capabilities. Meta Spatial SDK supports key MR features, including pass-through, scenes, anchors, and our mixed reality utility kit library. By combining these capabilities together, you can build engaging mixed reality experiences like GeoVoyage. As I mentioned earlier, Meta Spatial SDK is additive to the existing mobile ecosystem, and you can leverage all of it to build a truly unique experience for Quest. This includes new innovations within the mobile ecosystem, such as AI tools, CV libraries, and new immersive content like GSplants. For instance, both the focus and the GeoVoyage showcase leverage common AI libraries to enhance the experience. Check 
the open source code to see how simple it is to add AI capabilities to your Metaspatial SDK app. You saw some great example of apps built with Metaspatial SDK, and I want to highlight some of those key capabilities. We already touched on 2D UI, modern graphics, and mixed reality features. In addition to those core capabilities, Metaspatial SDK supports physics, stereo, spatial audio, performance panels, and inputs including controllers, hands, and keyboard. By building those capabilities into the core of the SDK, we are looking to simplify the work of the developer to create a spatial experience. Of course, the current capabilities are not the end. We'll use the flexible architecture to expand the range of support over subsequent releases. Efficient workflows are a vital part of mobile development experience today. And Metaspatial SDK is no different. Use the tools you are familiar with, such as Android Studio. And for Quest-specific development, you can use our existing suite of tools, including our optimized profiling tools, such as RenderDoc, OVR Metrics, and MetaQuest Developer Hub for desktop development. We know that iteration is important for all developers, and we are supporting hot reloading to quickly view changes to assets. And 3D development can be complicated. So we created a new scene composer tool to help you easily lay out and organize your 3D assets. Metaspatial Editor is our new spatial composition tool that lets you easily import, organize, and transform your assets into visual compositions and export them into Metaspatial SDK apps without the need for code. We released the Metaspatial SDK earlier this year to select developers of all different backgrounds to test and build. The feedback from these developers helped us fine tune the product samples and documentation and ensure they were high quality before going broader. We found that even those without a background in XR were able to rapidly prototype and create new immersive experiences, especially with the help of our new visual spatial composition tool, Metaspatial Editor. Teams of engineers and designers were able to quickly pull on their existing expertise to collaborate and build a variety of immersive apps that span different categories, from productivity and media to lifestyle and social. The possibilities keep growing. Both Metaspatial SDK and Metaspatial Editor are available today in open beta. To start building with Metaspatial SDK today, follow this QR code to access our comprehensive documentation, API references, and samples. You'll also find our code labs to help you get started with step-by-step -step instructions. To accelerate your Metaspatial SDK development, you can find the open source showcase apps on our GitHub page linked in our documentation. You can publish your Metaspatial SDK app on Meta Horizon Store today. I'm very excited to see what you all build, and I can't wait to try your apps.